preschoolers naturally learn things through music. Today I'm sharing with you all of the things that we're doing in our homeschool preschool to harness the power of music for music itself and also music appreciation. Hi, I'm Sarah of My Home, Your Home, Our Home, and I am preschool. Uh, <laughs> I am preschooling home. <laughs> Hi, I'm Sarah of My Home, Your Home, Our Home, and I am homeschooling my boys for preschool. I have a three-year-old and a one-and-a-half-year-old, and we are combining both of them in kind of this homeschool, pre-homeschool school, preschool, yeah all of that and so we love music in my family when i was three years old i had already been exposed to classical music through my older siblings through music in my home and i decided i wanted to learn violin and i insisted with my parents for three years until age six when they finally gave in that i wanted to start learning violin so I know that from that age I was able to decide that I wanted to enjoy something on my own and um, I have played violin ever since which is going on like 24 years now so now you know my age but um, yeah so I want my boys to have that exposure to a lot of different instruments so they can also choose maybe something that they want to pick up and enjoy and if they don't want to do that that's fine too but I do think there's a lot of benefits to music itself from the earliest stages in life, music can gain a really strong hold on our hearts and our minds and our lives and just help us learn so many different things. The benefits of music are a multitude. There are so many benefits and I'm not going to list all of them for you today, but I do know that some of the benefits of music include just enjoyment and happiness in life and understanding of emotions some rational thinking um, benefits and math benefits as far as counting and all of that, but also memorization benefits. So I was trained with the Suzuki method of violin and with that we had to memorize all of our songs. I know some other methods probably don't rely so much on memorization, but it is a good way of learning memorization and also of learning to listen because you are trying to mimic sounds that you're hearing, you're learning to concentrate, you're learning to uh, commit yourself to a project, a task, and follow through with it. And so learning an instrument in itself has its own benefits, but also just listening to music can have benefits. With my boys, we are doing some more modern type of music as well as classical music and if you are around preschoolers a lot you know common musical uh, themes like baby shark and um, humpty dumpty as nursery rhyme based type of music but there are also some classical pieces that are great for kids to learn to listen to and if you are into classical homeschooling you think this is obvious of course, why wouldn't you expose your kids to classical music? And probably just the reputation of classical music for breeding geniuses um, is something that kind of draws a lot of parents to classical music, but I do think that even besides those kind of common stereotypes of classical music or ideas of music, uh, classical music does really have some benefits. So in our homeschool, we are incorporating both more modern types of musical pieces and more classical pieces and kind of getting the best of both worlds in that. I think it's important to include both for our kids' enjoyment and understanding of their culture, of their place, and of music itself. So we have a lot of resources that we're using. All of these resources are ones that I picked up with the intention of continuing to use them throughout all of my kids' elementary schooling and beyond. So they're not just specifically tied to preschool, although I do think that is a good age to introduce them. One of the first resources that we picked up was the Classical Kids series and this comes in a bunch of cds you can also get these as mp3s but i found it cheaper to actually get the cds and i believe i bought them as this package deal on ebay at a big discount i'm a huge ebay shopper <laughs> if you can't tell from my other videos because i can find really great deals and discounts on larger sets of things so we got these cds i grew up with them and i really enjoyed the storyline that's in them and the fact that they incorporate a lot of different pieces of 
music from a composer's life as well as some of the composer's life story and you feel more of a connection with the people who actually created the music. So these are a great way to introduce kids to classical pieces of music and composers in a memorable story format. The other CD series that we have is called Maestro Classics and I was introduced to this series by Summer Myers here on YouTube and she has an in-depth review of how they use this in their home school so I'll leave a link in the description box below so you can go watch that video for her review. She has a really good um, overview and system of how they use this for music appreciation. I really like Summer's way of using that CD series in her home school. We are using Peter and the Wolf mainly from the Meister Classic CD series in conjunction with the Gentle and Classical Preschool program because that focuses on Peter and the Wolf and ha actually has a storyboard. I love using a storyboard with this music because it helps my boys to really see the storyline behind the music and to understand how music can tell a story. I know when I was learning violin and I was trying to memorize the songs, I came up with a story for how I needed to place my fingers on the fingerboard on the violin and that really helped me to remember the sound of the music and to really connect with the music. So I like using a storyboard with my boys so that they can gain that same kind of connection with this music and composer. We also have some books that are musical sound books, and these are from Usborne, but I've also seen them from a lot of different places. I got mine for free from Usborne for doing a party, and I also know that if you become a consultant, you get 25% off of your own purchases and actually don't have to sell anything. You're not obligated to sell anything. So that's a tip for anyone who wants to incorporate a lot of Usborne into their home school. Uh, the Story Orchestra is also a company that makes books that are sound books. I believe that theirs are actually cheaper than Usborne's, but the buttons have a little bit of a difference so you can check that out on your own and see what you can gather from reviews but these kind of books are really exciting for me because it gives pictures also to the story and lets my boys listen to them on their own so I don't actually have to set up music I don't have to have it playing in the background or anything they actually get to interact with it themselves so we have quite a few of these and I'm actually going to be using them on plane rides and while my family is in quarantine after our international move this year during COVID and all that good stuff. to try to make musical instruments readily available to my kids. In the past we have used um, Melissa and Doug's wooden instrument set and we really like that but because we've been moving we've kind of left that behind and been just kind of improvising with whatever we find but when we finally get settled again I'd love to have like a keyboard, piano, um, ukulele, all these little things um, that my boys can just pick up and start strumming with and doing music with. I think that hands-on opportunity is important because music isn't just for listening to, it's also for participating in and creating. So um, they can find the joy in all of those aspects of music. Finally, with our Sunlight program, we have a lot of suggested songs that come with that. I know in the past they had used We Sing, Nursery Rhymes, and Lullabies for the preschool Sunlight program. Now that's kind of out and they're using YouTube songs and Spotify songs, um, but we're also using that for our more modern types of nursery rhyme style songs or just children's songs in general. So we're getting all of the flavors of music with this. I am also looking forward to incorporating my husband's um, culture in Brazilian music with um, a YouTube channel called uh, Palavrinha Cantada. This is a YouTube channel that has music in Portuguese that my boys can listen to. It's really kid-friendly, very catchy, and will help them to also identify with their father's culture. Music is an important part of culture and it's a great way to tell our cultural stories, backgrounds, beliefs, values. My husband is from Brazil and Brazil is very well known for samba music and really rhythmic dancing and music and so of course it's going to find a way into our homeschool as well uh, but I don't exactly have any books or resources for that, just YouTube and maybe that's great maybe that's great um thankfully in these days with a lot of digital things available to us we don't have to make a lot of purchases for homeschool and for exposure to a lot of different cultures and musical styles but these are some resources that i do think will be helpful to us for our homeschool share with me in the comments below any resources that you have found for any age group of students any age group of kids 
Thanks so much for joining me today for this video. I hope you guys have a great week and I will see you next time. Love you. Ciao.